Hey guys, it's Bro you Wack, and we got a little sneak peek of what's to come in Season 10, where a majority of it is really just focusing on skins. Obviously, this season, we're going to be getting the brand new Hero Venture, uh, but I feel like this is a little less exciting of a reveal because, well, they've already been out as a trial, but here we get to see them in a cute little cinematic here on Petra and just digging around and having a grand old time trying to find their next dinner of uh, <coughs> rocks. Which, by the way, if you haven't been keeping up with the news, because there's been a lot of news in the past couple of days. Venture and a bunch of heroes are going to be receiving changes upon Season 10, but Venture specifically is not really going to be receiving a lot of changes. Of course, I will include that video at the end of this video for you to watch so that you can get back up to date because we have a lot that we need to look at from this revealed trailer, most notably, and what is definitely the star of the show, the Season 10 Mythic skin, which is for... Mercy! Oh, this is this this is interesting. I'm, I'm definitely curious to see how the Mercy community reacts to this one because I think the skin looks cool. But if I know anything about the Mercy community, is that they are torn whenever they stray away from the cutesy design for Mercy. But in my honest opinion, I like the idea of a really be a talent designed Mercy skin. Now, in terms of the customization, it seems okay. It seems like the two features that you can customize with this Mercy Mythic skin is gonna be their staff and weapon, which is pretty standard with Mythic skins. But the second thing is actually their hair. You see in the first one, you have long white hair, but then when you go to the white and blue and the purple and black skin, she has her hair in a ponytail. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate because Kriko has three different hairstyles that you can customize versus Mercy's two. And when it comes to Mercy's hair, there's not a lot of like eccentric designs, but I'm not really one to complain about this Mercy Mythic skin because I know the Mercy community will do it for me. <laughs> but those mercy wings, those are pretty wings. It seems like we're gonna be getting three different color schemes, so I can't wait to see what the other wings look like with the Talon colorway, with the white and blue colorway, and the black and purple colorway. And yes, I did say Talon colorway because this is gonna be a Talon Mercy skin because that is the whole entire theme of this season where it's gonna be sort of like a crossover or a mirror event that they are titling Mirror Watch. Essentially, Talon heroes become Overwatch heroes or good heroes and Overwatch heroes become Talon heroes or evil heroes. This kind of has like an archives vibe going on where we just really have uniform skins with Doomfist, Sombra, and Widowmaker all rocking Overwatch uniforms, which look clean, that look classy, but then we also have some really sick Talon skins in the form of a Tracer, Brigida, and Reinhardt skin. Now those aren't all of the heroes that are gonna be receiving Mirror Watch skins, but those are only the heroes that I can get really good screenshots of their skin. I mean, Ana's a perfect example where she's also going to be getting a talent skin but I can't really show off her skin that well because she's so far away but she's going to be wearing this talent uniform with a cool little hat but similar to other seasonal events there is going to be a game mode tied with all of these skins that is going to be well called mirror watch and essentially you're going to be able to play all these heroes that have different abilities that we kind of saw a little bit in the April Fool's but mainly just with mercy where you're able to shoot beams or shoot little pistol balls out of your staff, along with Doomfist, whenever you power block, you're gonna get a Reinhardt shield, and Reinhardt, I'm pretty sure, is gonna have a Baptiste window attached to his shield. And it seems like this game mode's gonna be a standard 4v4 deathmatch with those changed abilities, like I mentioned before, taking place on at least Watchpoint Gibraltar, but with Talon Brandy, because, well, this is the Mirror Watch event. Typically, this is the Overwatch headquarters, but now it's the Talon headquarters, which is pretty cute. But in terms of the game mode, it seems pretty interesting. I'm definitely going to be interested to see if people want some of these abilities to actually come into the game But I have a guess that these are probably just leftover PvE abilities that they just kind of shoehorned into a game mode for extra content Now we also got a little sneak peek of some of the other battle pass skins along with the mirror watch skin where it seems like this is also gonna be a crossover between heroes because here we have a Symmetra skin and it looks like the Junker Queen and Batiste got some sort of like cyborg Genji Soldier 76 color palette type skin. I have no idea where this skin is inspired from but it looks really cool. One of Batiste's best skins that he's got. But we also get a couple of shop skins along with the Talon skins. We're also gonna be getting some futuristic robot skins featuring our favorite Omnic heroes that go in 
order of Echo, Zenyatta, and uh, yeah, that's it. We don't need to name the third one. All jokes aside, though, I do think Arissa has the best robot skin out of the three because it, she looks like a futuristic cartoon robot toy that you would give to like your five year old. But that's probably the only skin that I'm really hyped about when it comes to some of the shop skins because even the uniform skins I'm looking at, it's like, yeah, yeah those are cool, but I really wish some of them would have been in the battle pass because, well, that's the theme, and I don't really understand why Symmetra and Batiste are going to be the battle pass versus Reinhardt and Tracer, you know what I mean? Well, this battle pass might seem a little bit lackluster due to the fact that they're trying to pack in as much cool stuff into it, which includes the ability to buy previous season's Mythic skins. So you're going to be able to collect this third currency <laughs> that's called Mythic Prisms that allow you to buy either this season's current Mythic skin, which is with Mercy, or a previous season, like with Genji, the Junker Queen, Kuriko, and Sigma, and that's all that they showed. I don't know if there's going to be a rotation of Mythic skins within the Mythic skin shop, where they only have these four Mythic skins, and then they're going to have the other five Mythic skins from the previous, well, five seasons, but we're just going to have to see when Season 10 releases, but we can at least know, and I'm guessing, that at least Season 1 Genji is going to be made available for a purchase, because that's what a lot of people want. Moving past the skins, finally, because I know that was the main focus of this trailer, we're also going to be able to play the brand new game mode in a trial period, which is Clash on the new, well, kind of new map, Hanaoka. It's basically a Hanamura redesigned to fit a 5 CP map, which is 5 capture points, all strung out in a straight line. Again, the design of Hanaoka isn't new because all the assets we've seen before in Hanamura and Kanazaka just now in a third Japanese map, which is fine because Hanamura is my favorite 2 CP map, so to see it come back in a different form, seeing the soccer trees and the Japanese architecture and temples, it's, it's, oh, it's gonna be a nostalgia trip, but it's also gonna be an awesome trip because, well, this map looks fantastic, and the game, what I'm sure, is gonna be, hopefully, a little bit better than Push, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, we'll be able to decide on day one because that's when Clash, the trial period, is actually releasing. Surprisingly, they're having to be on the same day that Venture and the new season comes out, which I, I thought they would have waited at least a couple of weeks, but no, it's coming out on day dot. But to end the season 10 trailer, we get a little sneak peek of the new collaboration skin coming this season between Porsche and D.Va. Now, I made a whole entire summer video talking about this collaboration skin and showing off the skin in a, a unique way because they made a statue of the skin, so we already know what it looks like, and it looks like a, a Porsche car. Would you believe it? Some people are upset that D.Va's getting the Porsche collab skin because, well, she's gotten so many collab skins already, but who else drives a, a car-like thing in the game other than D.Va? Exactly nobody. So that's why D.Va deserved this skin, but that's why all these heroes also deserved all these skins, but I want to know your guys' thoughts on Season 10. I can tell you that's not going to be my favorite season, but I really am hoping out for the game mode to be one of, if not the best and most fun game mode that a seasonal event has ever had. But we're just going to have to see when it comes out eventually. But until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come, and bye.